After spending time with the Hadza, you really kind of get into their rhythm, and it's almost like going home. There are a few more informative sources for tracing the course of human evolution than being able to work with a people who are living in the environment in which human evolution occurred. <laughs> The Hadza retained this hunter-gatherer lifestyle that we all had until the last 10,000 years or so. They are the last group in Africa that are collecting 95% of their diet from wild foods. It's a very simple lifestyle. People assume, well, you know, it doesn't really matter where they live. They're nomads. They feel, well, they can't really be happy because they don't have what we feel in the Western world is necessary to make us happy. The government gave the whole Yasi Basin to a royal family from Abu Dhabi as their hunting grounds. People in power are behaving as if they own these common goods. The best land, the resources are going to be diverted. How do you explain land rights to a population of who were probably here before any other group was in the area? It'd be an utter tragedy if this area is completely destroyed. 